Hello, and welcome to the chess chapter, the chapter of my journey that I share with you online of my attempt to get to 2,000 rating on chess.com. I like to start out with a puzzle, so let's hop right into it. Checks, then captures, then attacks. Checks, then captures, then attacks. Here's my current thought. The threat here is a check, which would be a bummer. So my thought is we take, this comes down, then we take here. Then he can check here, we can step up, and there's nothing else to be done about that. I don't think, I don't think he can do anything about it. So we take, Take, take this pinned. He can move off, I suppose. Check here. I still think it would be mate. So we're going to start with the take. Take. We got it. Let's go. Let's do another one. One more. If we can't find two of them. So checks, then captures, then attacks. We have this check. It allows him to go here. We have this check, which also allows him to go here. Uh, then I could go here. He could go here. Hmm. Hmm. Check here. He goes here. Check here. We can go here. Check here. Seems like we're gonna get a rook at least. So I think we want to go here, 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 here. But do I want to go this way? What are blocks? Block can happen here. Um, I don't know that we want to go because he could block, right? If I go here, if I go here, he can block or block. Well, no, he blocks. And then I don't have, so he can block. If I go check here, he can't block, he has to move up. I go check here, he could block. Then I can take. I think we want to do this check. Nice. <laughs> Got him. That felt good. Good reasoning. Good thinking. Let's see if we can't convert that all the way through our game today. I've had good leads in my last two games, and I have thrown them. So the idea is to stay consistent all the way through. Did a little bit better job at keeping a level head after our loss. But here we go. 1049 out of Columbia. We are going to be trying our Karo Khan. Let's see what we have going on here. A pretty simple standard setup so far. I'm pretty sure in this position, we just... Take. I think that's the idea. We hope that he brings that out so we can get our bishop out. And then we set up the rest of the attack. We're going after that pawn. <laughs> um okay i have a question here of if i want to prevent 
the bishop from coming down so I can go here uninterrupted. I don't think it's bad. Let's go here. And we can bring up, go in after this pawn. The main idea is this pawn. Take it and this will fall. You could decide to bail on that pin and go for this pin. Uh... To go, we don't really want to take here until we're forced. And in some lines, we just try to trade off our bishops, but not this one because I don't have that pawn. So if he pushes here, probably just take. Okay. So. I think we're going to continue on this line here. I could take it. Well, if he backs up, then the back is square one. So we're going after this pawn still. He could be doing the same development structure, though. That would be poor. If I go here, then I'm attacking that knight. But he could be coming after this knight. But if he goes here, well, no, he'd land here. I don't know what I'm thinking. He'd land here, defending this pawn. So we'll see what happens. But I can also remove this knight. I could have just removed that knight, then taken. That's the that's the goal, and it was available. Maybe I should still do that if it's available, because there's no defenders now. Take, and then he, that bishop would be under threat, which would be a worthwhile sacrifice for the knight. Ideas? Queen could come out here, attack this pawn. I think I'll just go here to defend it, rather than come all the way out. We'll just sidestep so that we can do, we can... Clean up. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. If I go here, he could slide down. And if, in the case that he slides down, we just step up here. I think we just step up there. So I think we're still okay to continue on. That's, he's not going after that. He's not going there. He could go here to add defense. And then we'll have to figure out what we're doing after that. Kind of. Because we take, and then he can take, and then I can't do anything because I'm pinned. But we could also develop uh, this guy. Right now, we are firing twice at this guy. He's defended twice, so we don't want to do anything with it yet. But we're planning on taking out this defender. He could replace the defender. Okay, so now he's added two defenders this direction. Uh, we could bring in a third attacker but we're still dealing with three defenders uh, only per only temporarily but he could come here we could eliminate as well okay here
Hmm. Okay, we don't want to attack because we lose. Do we want to do we want to focus on castling or do we want to focus on this attack? Um I don't think it's going to do me any good. We don't want to do that. Let's focus on castling to break the pin. Cuz then that adds that truly adds a defender. Okay. The pin is broken. We are now directly firing twice. Okay. That was part of the plan. So now we swing up. We could go here. That'd be a bummer. could also go here cutting off the queen from defense would be good it's the queen but he could bring then he could just bring the rook over i mean he's got multiple ways to add defenders that's a tense battle over this pawn So he breaks the rook in for defense. Seems reasonable. What are our options? We could still come here, and that would be one. And it cuts off the defense. And then he would still only have two. Could add a third. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens when I do it. Hmm. I feel like he's got to go here. But then I almost feel like we're happy to break the structure. Weaken the king. But we don't have any way in. I don't think we have any way of... I'm assuming that he's got to go here. I think I think that's what happens. Oh man. My rooks are connected. Uh this bishop is undeveloped. This rook is undeveloped. This rook is doing something. This, this bishop is development lead goes to me. Space lead. I don't know. It feels pretty cramped on both sides. Feels pretty closed. But we are battling ferociously over this. But let's say I get this. I go here. You go here. I go here. You don't come in here, most likely. I'm targeting this guy. What does he do? Go here? Which one do I want to start with? Probably this one. Well, maybe not. Maybe I want this as a defender of this just in case. As an option. We're not taking with the queen because the rook would, the rook would take. 
If we take, take. If he takes. Assume he takes. He's taking his time. He's got to find a good move. Don't blame him. This is like the crux of the position is right here. We're battling over it. Hopefully he's actually... Uh, interesting. Clever, clever. So, I take, he comes here. And now he has one, two, three. And I have one, two, three attackers again. It's a good find. Okay, I think we need to figure out, without him here though, we can look to try to trap Queen, I guess. Do you, Am I happy with my, let's go here. I could go here, take, then take. Uh, am I happy with my lead in development? I have time pressure. It simplifies the position for me. I just go here. Um, I just go here. I mean, he's got no choice. And then I can just play it out from here. You think? You think you win? I don't know. Or do I wait? Do I pull over? Do I go here? I don't know how to attempt to do that. I don't know how to do that well. Um, this seems simplest to me. Take, take. He's going to come here. Yeah. He's going to come here. Probably take over the C file. I'm imagining this. Well, that would leave this open. So if he leaves the, if he doesn't take the file, well, he can't take the file. So he can't take the file. I'll get the open file, which means I can come in here and trade off. Um, okay. This could come in. I don't think I'm concerned about that, right? I push up. You could go here. I can go here and here. Right, so we don't give up the pawn. Don't give up the pawn. There's no fork. We don't give up the pawn and there's no fork. We can take the open file. There's still not a fork. And I could go here or here or here. Do we trade? I don't think so. I think we come back to, to put pressure on this pawn. We want that pawn. But is that a good trade? Oh yeah, you'd be trading your rook and a pawn. So, we have Time pressure. This bishop 
really not doing a whole lot of good. If he comes here, I think we really want to keep that knight. I mean, this bishop's doing nothing, so we don't want to lose the knight for it. We could just reroute and help attack. Okay. So. I don't, I think we wanted to come here. I think we're after this guy. We want that pawn. There's no way for him to get two defenders on it. Oh, we did it. We won the pawn. Right? Yeah, no way for him to get two defenders back on it. If he goes here, we fork him. Um, let's see. This guy is just a matter of time now. How can I attack him? Just one step down. He's got a defender already, though. Oh, get forked, right? Forked? Yes! <laughs> we got him. All right, feels good. Woo! Stop the bleeding. Oh, man. All right, let's take a look at this game. Felt pretty good from start to finish. 75.1, played like a 1350. Not my highest, not my best. But it is a win. So let's see what we've got going on here. We start off right. Uh, I'm probably, I think that I'm supposed to actually bring out the knight here. Yep. Uh, but I did it in the wrong order. Uh, that's okay. The rest of this is fine. It doesn't say that this is the best move here. But again, my idea was I wanted to be able to attack that pawn quickly. Uh, and in order to do that, I didn't want to get pinned here. So I pushed to defend. And then it's saying the and this just to go for it. And if it comes down, just uh, accept accept it. What is what happens here? Okay, well, it argues that that wouldn't happen. That's not what would have happened. I, I would have gotten pinned, almost certainly. Queen comes down. I didn't think that was a super strong play because uh, it wasn't actually attacking. Like, I kind of expected it to go here, which then we just come out and match and then try to have the open file. So, come in here. He makes a mistake. I don't capitalize on it. Let's see if I can figure out what this mistake is. What am I missing? You went here. It's a question mark. You just want me to take? Just wants me to take. Uh, that I'm going after the queen, huh? Okay. Interesting. Okay. Don't capitalize again. Probably still, it's probably just going to want me to take. And then finally, I take in the position. I apparently throw my position. This is a mistake. Because he only has... No, I don't understand. Why is this a mistake? What do you think the best move here is? What do we think the best move in this position is? It's certainly not a take. No way. Okay, so it's wanting me to go after the queen, okay? Which I thought about doing, but I was going after this pawn, which he I knew he had multiple ways to fend. Really does not like this play. See why? He just kicks it. Because he just kicks it. Instead, man, again, I should just go for the pawn. Are you saying I should just go for the pawn? I go here. Uh, oh, that's why I have the different view, because so we can look at the board. Sorry, I thought I created analysis, and then I realized I, I've not. 
I have not. I apologize. But the moves uh, would be knight takes queen. Interesting. Why wouldn't you just... Oh, because I, I'm i double defending. Oh. I didn't see that. I didn't understand that concept. But that makes sense. If I had just taken the pawn with this guy, I'm attacking here, the knight comes and takes, then I can just take with the... I'm probably just take with the queen. Interesting. There's a miss. I go for the queen trade-off because I have a somewhat time advantage and I want to simplify the game. Uh, I do, and I was pretty confident I was going to be able to uh, maintain. I felt like my knights were strong. didn't want to trade them off, so I didn't. And that was the right call. Finally got the pawn, and then the old... Orkaroos. A pretty solid game. Uh, I believe pretty happy with it. I am going to be camping Wednesday through Saturday. I'll be out. I'll be out most of the week. So what I'm planning on doing is recording uh, just videos for the rest of the week on Tuesday and Wednesday morning, and then just have them scheduled to go. Uh, and uh, get back to the grind. Hopefully I'll be able to do some studying and still keep my mind fresh on the game while I'm out, but I uh, will not be uploading fresh videos. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be backlogged, but I try to keep my stuff up to date because that's more fun to me, but just letting you know that uh, they'll all be stacked up and I'll have a little asterisk in the title. That way you'll know it was uh, recorded on the same day. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being on this journey because it is a journey and we are on it.